Yeah, guys, we're so going to look at NEO stock price action. We're going to look at the NEO stock price action, guys. Currently 5.33. It's a crazy situation, crazy price action, guys. Let's have a look at the um, NEO stock price chart. So, there's the NEO stock price chart, guys get right into it now and it's the 23rd it's pre-market by the way <coughs> excuse me 23rd October 2024 6.35 a.m. UK time and this is pre-market as you can see 23rd and it's moving up from Tuesday and Mondays. Um, it's Wednesday today. It's moving up from Tuesday and Mondays. Price, although Tuesday it did make a high of um, more or less a bit higher, five dollars thirty nine. But it fell back, and um, pre market anyway. It's 5.33, but you can see this price action is quite crazy because it's predictable in a way. This pattern, um, you know when it got to here, it went kind of like sideways, but a general downtrend here. And then spiked up that level over over seven it's about 770 771 and it came down and it's basically forming as you can see here it's forming the same or similar pattern with this I don't know if you can see that that it's forming because Oftentimes, stock, you know, price action does form patterns, and those patterns overall form a trend. But there's not much movement within the price action, and if you're a swing trader, it doesn't mean you can make much from it because obviously you've got the spreads. You're paying the spread, but let's have a look. What I'm on about is you can see this diagonal here. Whatever way you want to look at it, that's how it that's how it is. Diagonal. And then you can see here it's forming here. It's basically to mirror what's going on here not exactly because like you know when you look up here it falls differently it's not it's not it's not a perfect triangle if you know what I mean it's more slanted long elongated here where it just jumped up from here but obviously it went down more here this um, neo stock but generally you get kind of similar patterns forming here and there and um, so it's worth looking out for these patterns I mean how do you predict what's going to happen next well if you follow this pattern it goes to 560 or maximum 573 this level here as you can see, between, you know, 560, 573. So you would expect, you'd expect some kind of sideways motion for some time and then cuts, you know, rise up to about 560, somewhere here, where the cross is, say here. Um, 
you know, like another week, week's worth trading week, five, six, seven trading days. And then, um, you know, like you've got to be 75% sure that it's going to go up from that level from the 560 to push beyond, push beyond 770, certainly push beyond seven to, to, to test it again. You know, it's got to be tested again. You've got to have a step up. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Let's just change the chart to 10 minute chart. There's a 10 minute chart. Of course, like when you look at the bigger picture, the day chart that we've just looked at, you can see how the patterns are forming. But anything's possible. I mean, this, this, um, this could just you know, Neo stock could just fly, just suddenly, you know, it could just fly with just to break patterns. It's not fixed in a certain pattern. It doesn't have to be fixed in that pattern. You know, as you can see here, built up somewhat and then just flew, come back down, flew again. It's come back down quite a lot. We're looking at the day chart again. It's come back down quite a lot. But it could just fly up again. Doesn't necessarily need to go sideways for a certain length of time. It can just spring right up. You know, it can start getting spiky without going sideways for a certain length of time. It could go, you know, it could spike up today. Um... Because in general, it's quite a spiky stock on the way down, Neo stock. So it doesn't generally, when you look, there's not much sideways motion. There's some here, there's some here, but it's diagonal, diagonal. It's kind of diagonal here. You know, when you go back, when you look, it's not, it's not really like a sideways type of stock. It's more spiky. Even though it's going down, it's spiky down, if you see my point. So that's how I think that the stock will go up. Spiky. Um, not like sideways, 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 and then goes up. I think it's just going to go like diagonal for a bit, and then boom, straight up. That's um, how I see it recovering. Basically the same or similar, you know, similar um, price actions, you know, the, the, these these patterns that are formed already. When it goes up, I think that the patterns, they're going to stay the same. They're going to be spiky. They're not, you know, this, this stock's got its individual, it's unique. Every Every price action, you know, every chart, every stock chart, is absolutely unique. There's no two, you know, there's no two stock price charts the same. You know, even like if you look at a penny stock that just not moving, it goes up a bit, down a bit. Like that's that, you know, they 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 got unique characteristics. Like um, there's no two stock price charts the same, basically. So that means that for this NEO stock, it's going to repeat its characteristic of the spikiness you see. Even though it's been going down on the spare trend, when it goes up, it's the same look. Price action, patterns of the price action just mirror the patterns the price action as it was falling like when it went up here when it went up it's just the same as it when it went down so that's how it's going to spring back up guys that's um that's interesting because you can say that neo stock is not going to stay down for long 
and it could spring up at any time.